Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio, so today we need to take a little bit of a look at the McDonald's promotion. And we've talked about the McDonald's promotion before on this channel, we talked about it a few times, but it turns out it is actually extremely weird and unusual, and not like we were expecting at all. And that is kind of weird. You see, initially, I thought it was going to be the case, like the 25th anniversary, where you got four card packs, one was hollow, three were non-hollow, and every card was available as both a hollow and a non-hollow. That was, given last year's promotion, a sensible prediction to make. It turned out not to be true. And then we had this image doing the rounds of what is clearly a pack of four hollow cards. Or what very much looked to be a pack of four hollow cards. So I then suggested, again, very sensibly, given the best information I had at the time, that it was, in fact, and we know it's 15 cards, and that you got four hollows per pack, and that actually the set would be really easy to collect. Because you were just 16 hollow cards with the McDonald's hollow. And again, at the time, that was a very sensible prediction. And that turned out to not be true. Sorry about that one. Because then I went and bought some of the cards and I showed you this the other day. And with the cards that I showed you, it turned out that you did in fact only get one hollow and three non-hollow per pack. At which point I suggested again, and I believe this was very sensible given the information we had at the time, that all of the cards were available as both hollow and non-hollow because I was opening packs and getting three non-hollow and one hollow from the collection of 15 cards. Well, since I went, and bearing in mind, I do want to point out, I was at McDonald's at half 11 in the morning on the morning that this promotion started, and breakfast is on till 11, so I literally got there half an hour after the promotion actually started. I want to make that very clear. However, <laughs> it now turns out we got new information, and it turns out that not every card is available as both a hollow and a non-hollow. And it's actually kind of interesting looking at the image, because they've now gone and updated the official website for the Pokemon promotion, the Happy Meal website. And they have shown us, I mean, this image here makes it quite clear it's free non-hollow and a hollow, which is cool. But if you look at the image here, you've got Pikachu, Rowlet, and Victini, and that's extremely relevant because they are the free or free of the six cards available as a hollow. It turns out you cannot get all 15 cards as both a hollow and a non-hollow. That's not true. There are six of the 15 which are only available as a hollow, not as a non-hollow. And there are nine of the 15 that are only available as a non-hollow. They are not available as a hollow. And again, and don't get me I was wrong about this. Let's be clear, you know, just to get that out there, just to say the words out loud. I was wrong about this. I was wrong about the promotion. However... It's also the kind of situation where there was no way to predict this. That was weird. Time was, back in the day, you would get yourself a plastic toy in one card and that card would be hollow. Last year, with the McDonald's 25th anniversary collection, there were 25 cards, each of which were available as both a hollow and a non-hollow. And now with this promotion, they've now done it where there are 15 cards and six of them are hollow and nine of them are non-hollow, which is completely different to anything they've done before. So, no, I don't think... Yeah, don't get me wrong, I was absolutely wrong, let's be clear. But there's no real way I could have known this. This is very different to promotions they've had in the past. But that brings me to my next point. Because I do believe that this is going to be the model, so to speak, moving forward because we're not going to get the plastic toys i showed you the other day although it is a little bit sad in the uk at least the entire promotion is cardboard even the coins are cardboard now it is worth pointing out on the official website 
it does say, and a gold coin. I think, I don't know, let's be clear, I don't know, but I think the coin might be metallic and plastic in the US. I know in the UK, you, you don't get plastic toys in Half Meals anymore. It's not a thing, it doesn't happen. But I believe it, it seems to suggest on the website that at least in the US, there will be a metallic coin. It literally says four trading cards, a spinner and a gold coin. And I'm telling you now that the plastic one cannot, sorry, the cardboard one really cannot be described as a gold coin. It's just not there. So there might be a bit different. But I think the days of big chunky plastic toys are over. From a marketing standpoint, it's really quite simple. There is absolutely no point... Firstly, producing toys you can only sell in some countries, that's a massive waste of money, but also having wildly different promotions. Don't get me wrong, over in Asian countries you can do different promotions, they're very different to the US, Europe, etc. But having awesome toys in the US that aren't then being sold in Europe, or selling them in some European countries but not others, etc. that doesn't work. McDonald's ain't going to do that. So I think the model moving forward is going to be 15 cards, because we, we have McDonald's every year with Pokemon. It happens every year. And it's always a 15 card set except for the anniversary which doesn't count. So 15 card set with six hollow and nine non-hollow, one hollow and a pack of four. That seems like a model they're going to use moving forward. I can't say that for absolute certain, obviously, but that seems like a sensible model moving forward. In terms of the hollows, I've already shown you four of them. That is the Smeargle, Victini, Rowlet and Pikachu. Obviously, I need that Rowlet so hard because it is your higher going to suke Rowlet. The other two are Gossifleur and Growlithe. So yeah, they are the six that are available as hollows. And that means that the other nine are available as non-hollow. So don't go in trying to get hollow versions of Chinchow, Cutify, Flaffy, Tynamo, Lapras, Lediba, Drampa, Pangoro, or Beware. Those cards aren't available as hollows. Now, it does make it slightly easier in a couple of ways. For me, trying to collect high and Asuke cards, I've already got a non-hollow Pangoro. I get a hollow Rowlet. We done. But also, in terms of completing the set, in theory, you could literally buy six packs and complete the collection. Now, I bought five packs and got one double. I got two Victini. And then I found somebody that really wants a Victini and is living in a country where it hasn't started yet. So I'm just going to send them the Victini. Jobs are good and... But, I'm, I'm actually pretty close to completing the collection. Now, one of the four I got was Gossifleur, and that is damage, which is a little bit sad. A bunch of the sticky stuff from the booster packs leaked onto it. It's a bit sad. It's not the end of the world. But it does mean that, actually, there's no point hoarding all of these cards. You know, yes, there's a hollow Pikachu. That hollow Pikachu is one in six packs. Every sixth pack is going to have a hollow Pikachu, as opposed to every 25th pack with the 25th anniversary collection, which makes it more than four times as common. It's not, and we're not in the same stage as we were back then, let's be clear. But yeah, I think it's fair to say that this is going to be a quite easy promotion. If you want to collect it, you're going to be able to. I bought four Happy Meals and one extra toy the other day because I was having lunch with my kids. If I do that once or twice more, I'll probably get the whole collection without trading. And that makes me very, very happy indeed. Oh, as a quick side note, I did tell you in my opening video that I was going to give my kids cards of Pokemon they actually wanted as a, as a little treat because I stole their packs to do an opening. These are the cards they selected. My son, my two-year-old son, chose Fampi and Palisand. Extremely proud of him. And my four-year-old daughter went for Pikachu and Glaceon. And yes, I put them in top loaders because they're two and four years old. If I didn't put them in top loaders, those cards would have lasted 20 seconds each. So yay! But we do have a little bit of an update. Now, let's be clear, I'm not telling you about every country, but I have heard of some countries where they've been listed. Do remember I told you before... The initial information we got was from, I want to say, Canada slash the US. And they're coming out on August the 9th. So expect it to be starting tomorrow in the US and or Canada. And then we got some other European countries. So Austria is confirmed as starting on the 25th of August. Germany has been slated to start soon. Switzerland is having it from the 4th of August, which has obviously already happened. It has been confirmed to be starting soon in Italy, though I don't have an exact date for that. 
and also in France, although again, I don't have an exact date for France. But it's starting very soon, and I think that's very important. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you need to know. That's what's awesome. And now it's over to you guys. Tell me if it started in your country. Tell me how excited you are. Tell me what you think about the six hollow, nine non-hollow. Go nuts in the comment section, but be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Pokemon and a whole bunch of other card games and a whole bunch of non-card game Pokemon stuff. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts every week where I answer all of your questions. This week, I'm going to tell the full story of how I went from, hey, I want to start a podcast to, yay, I'm casting at Worlds. So I think that's going to be one you really want to be checking out. And there's a Discord where we chat and share decklists, etc. And I give shout-outs to people like the lovely Andy White, who is one of our Patreon supporters over there and is a very lovely person. Andy, thanks for supporting and thanks for being a lovely person. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.